Okay, so I'm just going to take you through my DSLR film scanning setup here. So, scanning some black and white film. Firstly, is the film holder, which is also what the DSLR is attached to. It's just bolted on to the piece of wood. Um, the DSLR, I've got some macro extension tubes on my kit lens and that just helps with the close focal distance and so that I can get a really nice tight crop around the film. So the holder for the film is made out of just some old plastic cards, like kind of like a credit card. Um, so there's three of them to make up the holder and there's just the hole in the middle that's cut it's, um, I think 40 by 26 millimeters. Now the diffuser or the light box have an LED down light at the back and on the other side there's a hole cut in the box and there is some plastic like a plastic bag material that's just pinned on the front. So this is the light box flipped over, just got a weight on top to keep it balanced. And I'll switch that on. So the diffuser just gives a really nice even light. The diffuser with the backlight on the film. And yeah, that's basically what it looks like. So if I come back this is what I see through the DSLR. And I use live view mode uh, when scanning so that I can zoom in and check that the focus is good. And then, yep, just basically make sure the exposure is good as well. And that's the scan. So just one thing with focusing um, using manual focus because um, autofocus basically won't work because the macro tubes um, cut that off uh, so when focusing it's not exactly super easy but you'll know it's in focus because you can actually make out the film grain itself so one of the really neat things about using the DSLR setup is how quick it is uh, once you get your focus right, you can basically just take the photo and then slide across to your next exposure. Take the next shot and you just work through the whole roll like that. Okay, so once you have your DSLR scans, bring them into whatever editing software you use and I'm just going to show you an example of how I process it. Um, so first off just invert command I on Photoshop or we'll invert it. Next thing let's just crop it. Then let's just go to saturation get rid of any color and as we can see it's a bit flat so open up curves and Let's just have a little look at this thing. Because you're shooting in RAW with the DSLR scan, basically have a lot of information and you can pull pretty much anything you want out of the photo. So it's pretty good when it comes to um, digitally processing them. Um, and yeah, it's not it doesn't take too long. Um, and it's not actually a lot of dust on this one but you know do a dust removal and whatever as well so that's it okay things to remember with your camera setup you want to shoot in RAW this will give you maximum dynamic range resolution and means you can easily tweak the scan to your liking you will want to use live view mode and then zoom in on the film to make sure your focus is bang on Use a low ISO to reduce digital noise, but watch your shutter speed and make sure there's no blur caused by camera shake or mirror slap. 
Use a lens with a focal length that's 50mm or longer, especially for full frame users. Basically, the wider the lens, the more your scan will be distorted. A macro lens or extension tubes will help you get a nice tight crop on the film, which will maximise the resolution of the scan. I got my extension tubes off eBay for about 8 bucks. You can use a kit lens by itself pretty effectively as it has a minimum focusing distance of about 35 centimeters, but you end up cropping away a lot of the scan and thus losing resolution. I've got to use it in the video, but a remote shutter release will just make things slightly easier. With the scanning rig, it's really important that your film is parallel to the focal plane, so basically your lens should be pointing dead on at the film. Due to the nature of macro photography, if your focal plane isn't parallel to the film, you'll end up with parts of the scan out of focus, most likely the edges or corners. My setup isn't perfect in regards to this, but having both the camera and film holder on the same mount definitely helps. You want an even backlighting so your scan comes out evenly exposed. You can use a computer or tablet screen displaying a white page as your backlight, but make sure the film isn't directly up against the screen, as you may find the screen's pixels interfering with your scan. For digital processing, invert, desaturate, and then tweak the scan to your liking. I didn't cover colour film in this video, as it's much more difficult, and I basically haven't figured out the best way of doing it yet, so maybe I'll cover that in the future. So these are just some more shots from the rollers scanned. Uh, hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. And yeah, thanks for watching.